Adventures of Hurry Man. Superman is flying intently towards some destination. Let's find out where he's going. Thirteen thousand lovely dollars in neat, easy to handle stacks. Twenties, tens, fives, ones. Ones? Can't expect the man to be bothered with ones. We get a lot of mileage out of that cabin. This furniture can't have the man bumping into things. <laughs> Might hurt us, though. You do remember he's invulnerable, right? It's kind of impossible for him to uh, hurt himself. Hello, Bates. Hello, Superman. You don't seem very surprised to see me. Well, being a wrongdoer, I figured sooner or later you got to catch me. What's gotta be's gotta be. Superman says you also left a rather obvious trail for me to follow. There's less than $13,000 there. Thank you. I happen to know there's over half a million missing in that armored car holdup. Well, like I told you, I'm just a little guy. They give me a little split. Meanwhile, you led me on a wild goose chase while your friends ran off with the majority of the loot. Don't blame him, Superman. You're the one who chased the goose. Bates won't say where his friends are, so Superman says, then we'll head down to the police station and you can explain it to Inspector Henderson. You gonna fly? Naturally. Well, uh, oh, my car's out back. I'll drive down to headquarters and meet you there. Mm-mm. Huh? No. You mean I'm gonna fly with you? That's right. I knew there'd be things about this job I wouldn't like. I think I'd offer up one of my little toes for the chance to fly with Superman, but Bates doesn't like it even a little bit. Bates was a bit shaken up by the flight to my office with Superman. Not enough to make him talk, evidently. He's obviously being well paid to keep his mouth shut. What about the money Superman found with him? Uh, the money wasn't from the payroll job. Oh, fine. That means you can only hold him a few days. Clark has a wild idea, and Henderson runs with it. Cigarette? Yeah, thanks. I never use them myself, but I always carry a pack for the commissioner. <laughs> for a cop, you ain't a bad guy. <laughs> it cost him a headache, but Henderson now has three different men tailing baits. Hopefully, he'll lead them to Mr. Big. These things can pick up a heartbeat loud enough to hear. They can certainly pick up a voice through a door. I feel sort of sneaky, but you know, I like it. <laughs> Jimmy, you're positively brilliant. Well, it runs in the family, and sometimes I catch up with it. <laughs> uh, why? And they'll be sorry they did, because they don't like what they're hearing. I just can't believe it. A deliberate escape. If this thing blows up in their faces. But it will if somebody doesn't find this Mr. Big. And there's no reason why it shouldn't be us. Come on. See what you get for snooping? Now go find him. Where do you propose to start looking? There. Give me 20 points. Double. Kablotnik? What kind of word is that? It's a very good word. Used frequently in South Pago Pago. Yeah, what does it mean? Oh, what do you think it means? It means Kablotnik. In typical fashion, this is the only part of the episode that stuck with me when I saw it as a kid. They're in a fallout shelter that the boss, the one in the tan coat, rented especially as a place to hide out until the heat is off. It's lead lines, so Superman can't even see them. Yeah, well, when does the heat get turned off? As soon as I figure out a way to get a certain evidence file from our pal Inspector Henderson. Except he can't figure out how to get it, so here they sit. There. Give me 30 points. Kademiwag? Where'd you find that? North Pago Pago. Incidentally, Pago Pago is part of an American territory. They speak English. Only a real Kiblotnik wouldn't know that. Yeah? Who do you want? Hello, Arnold. This is Bates. Bates, you stupid idiot. I told you never to call. Listen, I'm calling from Central Avenue. I escaped. You fool. I paid you to get arrested, not to escape. See, that's right. I forgot. Bates told Superman he wasn't too bright. I guess he wasn't exaggerating. I want you to turn around real quick and look outside the booth. Oh, I see what you mean. 
I'm being followed. Henderson needs better helpers. Arnold just figured out how he's going to get that evidence file. Get me 20 grand out of the back room. We're blackmailing Inspector Henderson, and he don't even know it. Next day, Eddie shows up at Henderson's office. I'm the one they sent up from downstairs. Oh, for pains of my laryngitis. You said you had information on the Benton robbery job. Sure I have. In fact, I can point out one of the characters who was in on it. You can? Who? Me. He says, and you're not going to arrest me because I know all about how you let Bates escape. Henderson says, what do you want? You crazy. What makes you think I'd give you that file? You let Bates escape, didn't you? Of course not. Sure you did. For a bribe of 20,000 bucks. That's a lie. Sure, but it's a lie we can prove. The money's already been planted. And we got definite proof set up to connect you with it. There's a wad of cash in his coat pocket that Eddie obviously slipped in there. Good luck proving it. It's not that much, but the bills are from the armored car robbery. The rest of the 20 grand is hidden somewhere, and he'll gladly lead the police to it. How'd it go? How'd it go? Smooth as silk. After midnight, no more worries. Real smooth, huh? Yeah, you should have seen his expression. Just like I shoved this in his kisser. Put that in the back room, you fool. It's dangerous. It's some kind of ray gun that's supposed to be able to destroy Superman. Where it came from and how they got it is kind of vague. Oh, incidentally, that uh, Clark Kent didn't look too happy about it, neither. Kent? Where was he? He was calling on the inspector just as I was leaving the premises. <sighs> now, what's the matter? I don't like it, that's all. What if the inspector tells him about the pitch we made? So what? So what? So Kent tells Superman and maybe Superman tries to interfere when we're making the pickup on that evidence file. He says the only thing we can do is grab Kent and keep him tied up until after the exchange. He's probably still on Inspector Henderson's waiting for Bates to make a move. Yeah, I guess so. If they're concentrating on it from that angle, we'd better figure out one ourselves. If we only had something to start with. I wonder. Somebody must have brought it in person. It's explicitly addressed to Clark, and watching these two come up with excuses why they have to open it and read it is all the reason you need to watch the episode. It's a note from Bates. I am ready to give myself up, but only to you. Come alone to the shack where Superman captured me. No tricks. Sign Bates. Come alone means bring your friends, right? Okay, what is it? Uh, are you Mr. Bates? Who are you? I'm Smith, and she's Jones, and this is all a mistake. We're sorry we bothered you. <laughs> sure is a mistake. Come on, Buster. What's this all about? Oh, you might as well tell him, Jimmy. You sent for Mr. Kent, and he was busy, so we came in his place. We're reporters on the planet, too. Eddie says, I'm not Bates. You're right, this is a trap, and two more hostages isn't a bad thing. My nerves is on edge, so don't try nothing. I'm a sick man. Besides nerves, I got high lavatomy pressure and sideways metabolism. I was reading a research paper about that just last week. Sir, if, uh, if you but allow me to reach my hand in my pocket, your health may be greatly improved. Go ahead, but don't forget I'm holding this gun on you. Hey, you ain't a doc, are you? Well, sir, I, uh, I can truthfully say I didn't waste all those years at the Vienna Medical Conservatory. I'm not sure when Jimmy got so clever, but this is the perfect time to pull it out. You got a very bad case of, uh, cerebellum. Hey, that sounds important. They got pills for that? Be quiet while I listen to your lobar pendulum. He didn't even know he had one of those. Lobar pendulum? Congratulations, Doctor. The operation was a success. Congratulations on the world's first lobar pendulumectomy. They announced the news to Henderson and Clark. I'm sorry, Bill. Sorry? Sorry for what? We got you both out of a jam. Out of the frying pan, you mean. The case is practically solved. Isn't that what you wanted? It's a long story, Jimmy. That sure popped their balloon. Henderson says, I have no choice. Bring my car around. By the time he's back in his office, Eddie has spilled the story straight to the commissioner. In a little bit, the three of them will get in a car and Eddie will direct them to where the bribe money is. Henderson is cleaning out his desk. Funny how you get attached to things. My club, his badge, the coffee pot. My desk, police car. I know, Bill. I hope someday you can find it in your heart to forgive me. 
While Eddie is running them all over town and rubbing this in Henderson's face, Clark is boxing up his mementos for him. My club, badge, coffee pot, my desk, police car. Police car? Well, that could be it. He heads to the parking garage and starts scanning cars. He didn't find any money, but he found enough naughty magazines to keep him busy for a week. Block of 770. Must be the Central Depot. Needless to say, that's where Eddie is taking the commissioner. And also needless to say, Superman will get there first. It's empty. Hey, wait a minute. There was a briefcase in here with 20,000 clams. I put it in him, I said... Oh. Well done, Eddie. You simultaneously exonerated Inspector Henderson and exonerated yourself. That Arnold, the dirty double-crossing rat. He must have took a potter with that half a million bucks and couldn't resist stopping for a lousy 20 grand. So that's Mr. Big, Arnold Woodman. Yeah, the dirty rat. I should have known after the way he cheated at Scrabble. He must have cheated. His made-up words were way better than mine. Where is he? If I knew, I'd be glad to tell you. The only thing I know is we was hiding in a bomb shelter in back of 85 Chestnut Street. I don't know where he is. All I know is this specific address and location. I'm not sure why he did that. A better thing to do would be to keep the cash with him and quietly slip it in with the rest of the loot when he nabs Arnold. Superman! I thought you might want someone to talk to, Arnold. You better come out, Arnold. Come out, Arnold. Arnold isn't ready to come out yet. I've been waiting for a long time to try this out on you, Superman. Now he's ready. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to click that like button and let me know you enjoyed this. And if you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. You can also become a patron and help support this channel. The link is below. Thank you for watching.